This is a news my in our 5002 direct from China. It's been completely unopened. As you can see, there is a ton of tape on it. Now, I'm assuming the reason mine has the uh, security seal broken, I requested, actually it doesn't. So, um, I requested two sets of 5.1 cables because they don't actually come with them. Um, so, this is a white box. Here's, here's the box inside. So this white box is sitting over here. There's the unit. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. So we'll go ahead and open up the cabling. And I have, as requested, one 5.1 kit, it looks like. Let's see here. Yep, rear. So this is what the 5.1 cable looks like with your connector here. And then you have your fronts, your rears, and oh, there's your center and your sub. And then a ground and an amp turn on. There it is. So, as I said, I requested two because I have an NR3001 also, and I forgot to order the cable at that time. So, if you do order these from one of these from AliExpress, or make sure that you 
request the cable otherwise you won't get it and it's only a few extra dollars but if you forget it costs quite a bit to ship them so there's really nothing else in this box that looks just like um, some padding and then this is the standard cable package which will be their standard microphone very cheap but you can set this on your dash as a sticky mount um, and then here we have the USB hard disk is what it says so here's your hard disk connector and here's your cable for the, the connector for the back and then your cable that you'd string around in your dash somewhere and then this is a brake line connects into your brake and that's usually for um, the reverse or something maybe uh, uh, GPS so GPS with a magnetic mount it looks like main wiring harness it says 12 volt plus reverse and it has a little connector here so I can get it to focus there we go, there's the connector and wow so I have no idea what harness this is but I didn't request one, I assumed they'd send a Toyota, and this is something I've never seen. It'll be interesting to figure out what this is to convert to my car. <laughs> Not fun. Oh, it has a little break out here for something else. Not sure what this is. Of course, there's no documentation. And then our... Uh, la la la... Back video in aux video in, aux in left, aux in right, so this would be for a DVD player or some something, and then this is for your rear camera for your bumper. And that's it as far as the cabling. Here's the unit. It has a protective piece of protective plastic here on the front. Um, it looks like it's slightly under the bezel. There's a little bezel for the screen, which is actually nicer than the NR3000 um, one, which didn't have this metal bezel on it. It simply had uh, the screen came all the way out to the edge and that was it. I'm actually wondering now if this is going to be too big, if this is bigger than doubled in. Um, I'll have to get my other unit to compare. So here's a comparison. This is the NR3000 one. And this is the NR5001, or 5002. Um, looking at these, it looks like the body is exactly the same size. Yep. So you can get an idea of how much bigger one is versus the other. It looks like about an eighth of an inch on each side, maybe almost a quarter here and here so that may not work for most vehicles it, it will most likely fit in my truck 
um, but it will be tight. <clears throat> um, the mounting brackets, like I said, I believe the base, the actual box here that fits in the car, it is exactly the same size. So it's only the screen, the front panel that's different. Looking at, for example, the label. There's your label. The labels are diff a little bit, a little bit different um, on this one. It's actually in English. This is the 3001. But as you can see, on the 5001 or two, this is actually most of it is in Chinese. Not that that really matters. So here's the back. All your connectors, your main connectors here, main fuse, um, microphone input, I believe, and GPS and antenna. So not much to it. Here's the side. These are screws. I'm not sure why they put stickers over them. I'm guessing this was made for a specific car, but and here's for comparison. I had to guess. So actually the sides are different here, as you can see. There's also something, I'm not sure what this is, looks like the antenna or something. This may be the Wi-Fi antenna that runs out the front, um, which it does not do on the 3001. 3001, I believe it's internal, and uh, there have been reports that it causes some interference or uh, poor performance. So. They may, that may be the reason they moved it to the outside here. <clears throat> anyway, um, that's it for the unboxing. I will do, if I can, I will do a power on. I may not be able to because I do not have a connector um, to convert this. I wanted to point out one more thing that I noticed. This right here, if I can get it to focus. This right here appears to be another antenna of some sort. I'm not sure if that may be Bluetooth, but it looks like they've moved them to the outside in this model. And that could be based on customer feedback. But uh, I think what I'll do next is try to power it on. So here we go, the unboxing of the Newsmy NR5002. And just for reference, this is the Newsmy NR3001.